Okay, I'm back. Did you guys miss me? No, no, what I'm saying is you don't never want to leave a couple inches of pot of epoxy in a cup in your shop overnight. I've never seen it catch on fire, but I've seen these things erupting like a volcano, man. <laughs> we had some one resin one time, me and old Lauren, when we was building them racers. And we was putting the right amount in, but man, it was setting up way too fast. And looked over there a couple times, and them cups just looked like a, vo a volcano erupting. I mean, it was serious. And uh, I never did use all of that. But I think it was in the hardener itself, sitting too long or something. But you just got to be careful. Any extra resin, if I got extra resin, I don't never leave no resin in a cup in the shop when I go to bed. I got a concrete pad out back. And uh, I don't never leave resin in the shop like that. I'm just scared it'll catch fire. Even them, even them, uh, my pastry tubes, I've seen them things erupt in smoke. <laughs> so when I'm done with a pastry bag, I don't ever throw it in the trash can. I throw it on the floor over there where even if it does catch on fire, it can't hurt nothing. You gotta be careful with these this chemical stuff. And what I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna try to keep from putting the third coat on there. This is coat number two. What I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to mix me up a little extra after I get this all spread. I'm going to let it set in the cup till it starts thickening up just a little bit because this epoxy will start thickening up before it goes off. Then I'm going to put one more coat on my sides because a fair amount of that is running off. And uh, I don't want no problems. Not near as much as a regular epoxy would. Man, you can't do them vertical surfaces with just plain old epoxy. That stuff will just run like a racehorse. Then you gotta thicken it up. Calcium carbonate. How many people know what the what uh there's the most of in the world as far as uh oh how do I put that there's more, there's more calcium carbonate in the world than anything there's calcium carbonate is just everywhere everything's got calcium in it that's the most plentiful mineral yeah. Plentiful mineral on the earth is calcium carbonate. Carbonate. Eight meaning it's uh, from the ground, something from the earth. I'm not sure I'm glad so many people's getting so much out of these videos. You know, if I can pass on some knowledge, I'm just so tickled that y'all just love all my little tricks. And if it wasn't for this YouTube, you know, they would have kind of just died with me. And, you know, and that just ain't how it should be. I want to pass it on. I want to pass on everything I know. We don't have no secrets in the shop. You got to know that. I'll show you the good, the good, the bad, and the ugly. <laughs> oh, I crack myself up sometimes. I think people think I'm strange, but I'm just here to entertain you guys and 
teach you how to build an airplane. Man, that looks good. Now I'm going to mix me up just a little bit more of this to where I can wait about an hour. Wait for it to thicken up a little bit and I can come in here on all my vertical edges and uh, make sure I get a nice thick coat on there. Hey, I guess also, I've seen a comment where someone uh, Googled Horace Petzler's name and uh, found out a lot about him. I mean, he's, a, he's an interesting guy, people. I'm telling you, he has a story. He has a story worth listening to. That man has been through a, a hard life. And I really enjoyed meeting him. He's a good person. But Google his name, Horace Petzler, and just read up about a little bit about old Horace. He's uh, he's quite the character. He was a good man. I, I liked Horace. You know, he just was just caught up in something he had nothing to do with, and you know, you know the story. But yes, it was a real privilege to meet old Horace. And uh, it ranks up there with the birth of my children as far as moments in my life. And uh, I'll never forget him. Never forget, old Horace. I got a bunch of other stuff I'm gonna have to, I might have to dig up one of these days and show you. I got a whole a couple of sacks, you know, because I was over there a couple different times, and just the longer you sit there and listen, the bigger your sack gets, man. He's a good guy. Okay, people, there we go. I'm going to let this set up. I'm going to wait about an hour, and I'm going to touch these things up, these sides. I'm going to start ready for some cloth. I'll pop in and make y'all another movie. I'll let you watch me slap the cloth on it too. We're committed now. I don't think I can go back to the old way of making them videos. <laughs> We've came a long ways, people. And we're going to build this bomber. And we're going to build it ten minutes at a time. The whole world standing right there watching. Got warm in here, man. Looks good, people. We're trucking right along. Probably a couple, three days, because I've got a bunch of pieces to make, you know, and it's all one day per side, and i got to do the wing tips. So it'll probably be another three days. We'll pop this bad boy out of the mold right here on YouTube. Let you guys watch it live. I know you guys like that stuff. You guys just love that stuff. But okay. We're running out of time. The rubber gloves are coming off. And that'll eat some minds out there. You know them men out there. Everybody hates the sound of them rubber gloves. <laughs> it, it don't mean but two things. Check up with the doctor, or we're fixing to slop some resin. <laughs> Ain't no one likes it when a doctor puts on them rubber gloves. <laughs> oh, <clears throat> excuse my humor, people. But we'll see you back in a little bit. <laughs>